Hi everyone, welcome to Full Throttle Driving Academy. This is another tutorial of Podium Club Atessa in Casa Grande, Arizona. Relatively new track, drove this for the first time in 2023. And as you can see, it's a track in the middle of the desert with not a lot of infrastructure, at least not at that time. This tutorial is free. In order to keep it free um, on YouTube, be really nice if you could subscribe to the channel so you can get updated on future videos like it if you do if you don't don't comment it would be great to get a dialogue going with all the racers and time trialers out there this is the car we'll be driving 2020 porsche gt4 club sport 425 horsepower we are now on the service road and this is a Porsche Owners Club track event with the Red Racers Group. As you enter the track, typically you'd want to stay all the way left, but since this is the very first session, no one's going to be coming up from behind us. Um, this is turn one. That was the second part of turn one. I apologize, I should have gone through that. This is the entrance of turn one. You miss that apex. I already kind of figured that out. The second part of the apex is the one you want to hit. I'm trying to drive the line. So in this, you would stay all the way right. This next corner is turn three, two. It looks like an early apex, but ends up being a late apex at speed. The next corner um, is three. This one, you do hit the first apex, but you see another apex there on the right. You ignore that. Um, and track all the way out. You start getting the throttle soon there. This one, is turn four, late apex. It leads on to, I'm sorry, yeah, a short uh, kink, turn five to the left there. You ignore the kink, you just stay to the left. Late apex for turn six, leads on to the second longest straightaway on the track. Just the mirrors. <laughs> Coming into the second and fastest high speed corners. So this one is turn seven. It's a long, sweeper to the right it starts heading uphill so you gain traction as you go up people do go off there be very careful and you start going downhill so you start losing a little traction on this one and you head down the waterfall look how steep it is you can kind of sense that you're going way downhill that was nine and ten then you go straight downhill some more and you do a left and then a right for 11 and 12. then you go short straight it's a left and a right for 13 and 14. That whole sequence is left, right, left, right, left, right. So now we'll come around again and we'll do lap two. This is turn 15. You want to do a really late apex. I turned in way too early there. I was testing to see how early I could go. Next time around, I'm going to try a later apex because I felt like I pinched that one off. Now we're going to pick up the speed a tiny bit. It's still double yellow. So this time, hopefully the pace picks up just a tad. We're gonna come up the hill. Now we're headed downhill into the braking zone for turn one. We're gonna ignore the first apex. This time I hit it to see what it would feel like. And that was incorrect. I should not have hit that first apex. You wanna ignore that. This is the one you wanna hit. But now look, I'm too early on this one. And if I had gotten a throttle right here, I'm pointed in the wrong direction and it's gonna push me too far off the track on the edge. I should have gone wider on the entry to turn one. I should have clipped this apex later and been oriented more uh, pointed this direction instead of pointed straight up and down. Okay, so I'm learning as we go here. Still would track out all the way, setting up for turn two. You would definitely want to turn in later than that, but we're at low speed, so I can't quite feel that yet. So I went early. The next one, this one we're gonna hit the first part. We're gonna ignore the second part of the apex because we're increasing our speed on the track out. We're accelerating a bit now. We're gonna break hard here at speed. This is a late apex. We're gonna stay all the way left, cut the distance on this. This is turn five, it's a kink. This is a hard downhill braking zone, so it takes longer to slow down. Late apex, long straightaway after turn six here. We're gonna go light long braking here because we want the car to stay flat then carry as much speed as we can through this high speed we start going uphill we're going to stay all the way left and then as soon as we crest this we go downhill we want to clip that curb definitely this is a light braking zone and then boom you go left right 
straight away, full throttle, you're gonna brake hard again. Left, right. I'm very slow right now, so you're not gonna see how this really works. Left, right. When we pick up the pace, that section looks completely different. Headed toward the end of the straightaway here. Again, this is a late apex. I'm still going super duper slow, so I kind of did a mid apex that time, but at speed, you want a late apex on that corner. Those are two slow laps. I'm gonna pause it, and next time around, we're going to pick up the pace. Time for a little bit faster pace now. This is a qualifying session. I'm preparing for my hot lap, and I think this will be a good tutorial to show how to prepare for a qualifying session, or if you're in a time trial and you're on the preceding lap before your hot lap, how you try to maximize your trap speed at the start finish line by kind of over exaggerating a really late wide apex on the final corner. So what I'm looking at here, trying to prepare, I've got a lower class car in front of me, which I'm going to try to safely pass. Um, I'm, I'm currently at corner, um, 13 headed into corner 14. And so I think I can scoot around that car and thankfully, thank you. Let me buy. And now I've got a faster class car in front of me. So I'm hoping this person keeps the pace high. I'm going to take a really wide line there because I'm really trying to just set up a super high speed uh, at the start finish line to start my qualifying lap. All right. And now this session is going to green and downhill hard braking, skip the first apex, clip the second apex on turn one, track all the way out. This is gonna be super hard braking zone. You can get in about a mid apex there. My car had good grip, track all the way out there. This is hit the first apex on turn two, but track all the way out as you accelerate full throttle. Stay hard left here, downhill braking zone, late apex to set up turn four, stay all the way left for the kink in five. Brake hard downhill, late apex, long straightaway here. You're gonna do medium, long braking, trailing off on the entry to this next corner, turn seven. And try to carry as much speed as you can as you track up the hill. You're gonna coast a bit, going down the hill, use the whole curb on the right, hard braking there, left, right, full throttle. You're gonna break a little bit here, or no, full throttle through there, break hard. This is such a fun section. Break left, right, and this is turn 14. And we'll watch another lap, because we're we're behind a faster car here. I think he might let us by. So now we're, we're, we're gonna do, whoops, he got a little squirrely. We're coming into a pretty quick lap, and I didn't love the lap, so we're gonna continue and do another one. Looks like he'll let us by, so now we're gonna have clean air in front of us and, and clean vision. Hard braking downhill, skip the first apex in turn one, hit the second apex, full throttle track all the way out, setting up for turn two, brake hard, trail brake in, be patient, get all the way out on the exit, you're gonna have a short amount of time, brake hard here, trail brake in, hit the first apex on that one, track all the way out, full throttle. You know, we're heading in to turn four. It's downhill, you wanna hit that curb on the right and track all the way out, stay left, cut the distance for the kink. Downhill braking, light apex, use the curb on the right, I missed it by about two feet. Sacrifice probably a tenth of a second there. This one is, is slight downhill, it's, it's a braking zone that's kinda of light and lags off because you wanna carry a lot of speed, you want that car to stay flat. You're going uphill now, and then you start going downhill, and here you go through the fast waterfall section. Brake hard there. It's a quick flick left and right, full throttle. You're gonna carry a ton of speed on this next corner here, 13, 12, 11, then 12 is a hard right, full throttle for a burst, hard brake, left on 13, and then you're gonna carry pick up full throttle pretty early on the exit of 14. Straight away, brake hard. This is gonna be a late apex. Be patient, let the car finish rotating, start feeding and throttle, use the entire track on the exit. Stay left, no need to rush to get back to the right. There's plenty of time to scooch back to the right to cross the start finish line for another fast lap. 
Hope that helped a little bit. Well, I hope that tutorial was valuable. Again, if you'd like an annotated track map with detailed notes, a detailed overview of that track map as I talk you through some more refined uh, information about the track, camber, the curbs, elevation changes, different areas for traction. And if you'd also like an additional 20 minutes of bonus footage where I walk you through a lap and I pause the video, I annotate it with arrows, show you a bit more about where to apex, where to start braking, where to end braking. That's $19.99 on my website, fullthrottlediving.com. Really appreciate your support. If you like this video, please again, subscribe, share it with your friends, comment. That would be awesome. We can get a little bit of a dialogue going. Great luck out there at Podium Club Atessa. Super fun, awesome track. Good luck.